Hi, this is Ankur from Only Gizmos. We are taking a quick look at the Dolphin HD browser running on a Samsung Galaxy Tab. So this is the honeycomb version of the Dolphin browser. Dolphin browser has become very popular given its gestures and web design feature for tablets. So you can see uh, the, tab, uh, the tablet version has tabbed browsing so you can add new tabs over here and switch between them very easily much like uh, chrome on your desktop the most uh, attractive feature of uh, dolphin uh, dolphin browser is gestures so you see this gestures button over here on the left bottom you just press this and it shows you a gradient sort of a grid where you can make gestures so if you make a f gesture it goes to Facebook, it's a predefined gesture. You can also set your own gesture. So we press gestures again and we go to the settings menu over here on the right. And you can see a whole list of gestures. Facebook and Google are predefined. We will add a new gesture for OnlyGizmos.com. So let's feed the URL first. It makes a suggestion for gesture but we would instead choose to just make a simple O and we press done so gesture has been saved we will go back to the browser new tab gestures and we make a O and there you go onlygizmos.com opens up so that's gestures gestures has been around on the dolphin browser for some time now but something that has been added specifically for tablets and something that really impressed us is Webzyn. So what Webzyn does is it customizes a lot of web pages just like a magazine app. So if you go to bbc.co.uk this is one of the sites customized for Webzyn. The moment you launch the website Dolphin Browser gives an option to open the Webzyn version of this website. So you would see a Webzyn button over here on the address bar we press that to launch the webzyn version so this is the webzyn version of bbc so you can quickly go through articles see them like a magazine you can use the options to share or email this article and that's pretty much it you can also go back to the tabs or switch between full screen and tabs using this button over here so it's the tabbed version we press this again it goes to full screen you'll see that webzyn is pretty different uh, compared to what we have seen on the ipad this is how it works on the ipad so that's the dolphin hd browser on android you can see it's multi-touched enabled and uh, Another cool thing over here which is uh, currently specific to Android only is add-ons. So you have a uh, add-ons tab over here on the right sidebar. You press add-ons and it takes you to an all new app store where you get a lot of add-ons that you can add. So you can add a translator or you can add a YouTube search or a Google search or Dolphin FM. So there are tons of add-ons over here ranging from ad blocker to a map or an ebay search for dolphin hd browser so that's another another handy feature in dolphin hd so we just go back to the browser you, you can see your history here on the left history and bookmarks on the left sidebar and you can just go to the right sidebar for quickly going to full screen mode or launching add-ons so much for dolphin hd browser running on a honeycomb tablet we'll have more for you soon